This story is about overcoming fear and an inability to conquer problems. It could be your story too. This film has been made to help everyone who finds difficulty in winning through when the going gets tough or the unexpected throws you off course. Through a specific set of circumstances that we recorded quite unexpectedly, we can show you the shock of a car accident on the way to a driving test and how the driver was helped to deal with the resulting trauma and carry on. The technique used has helped many people and this story will show you how. Hi, my name is Monica Dagata. I'm a grade 6 driving coach. I work in the areas of London and Kent, uh, helping people to learn to drive, as well as overcome fears of many things, among, among them uh, fear of a driving test, using a technique called Thought Field Therapy, or TFT for short. Driving without fear. TFT in action. TFT is a therapeutic technique um, that was discovered and developed by Roger Callahan, uh, an American psychologist uh, back in the 80s. It helps people overcome um, phobias, fears and anxieties and it's achieved by tapping uh, on meridian points in a particular sequence. What you're about to see in this film is how effective uh, TFT is in action. Uh, recently, my student Adriana and I were on the way to a driving test when another vehicle um, crashed to the back of us just 20 minutes prior to the test. But by using TFT, I was able to alleviate her trauma of the accident and her fear of the driving test. The CCTV camera recording inside the car will show us exactly what happened that day. But before we see the incident with TFT in action, we need to first be familiar with how it works. Here is Ildika Skur, TFT DX Advanced Trainer and Practitioner, to show us how the process actually works. So I need you to think about something in the past that's happened to you that you want to let go of. It still upsets you. And you don't need to tell me what that is in detail, okay? So can you bring something to mind? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being it doesn't upset you at all, and 10 being the level is as high as it could be, right now thinking about it, where would you grade that emotion? 7. 7, okay. So that's our starting point. Now, I'm going to ask you to keep thinking about that problem, that emotion, and I'm going to take you through a tapping sequence and then I'm going to stop and check whether you're where your level is again, okay? All right, so first of all, I want you to just tap the inside corner of your eyebrows, both sides, that's it. Tap about an inch under your eyes. Tap under your arm, one side, that's it. And then with your palm open, tap your collarbone either side. Then tap the inside corner of your little fingernail and tap your collarbone again. That's it, okay, and just stop. Forget what we've just done, take yourself back to the thought and the emotion and tell me where that is now on a scale of one to 10. Is it the same or different? It's the same. It's the same, okay. So in that case, I want you to um, tap the side of your hand here a few times, just thinking about that emotion, and then tap again, eyebrows, under the eyes, under the arm, and the collarbone, the little fingernail, and the collarbone again. That's it. Okay, and just stop. Take yourself back to the thought and the emotion. Does it feel the same or different? Different. Okay, what figure would you put on it now? Six. Okay. Six. Now let's return to the incident in which Monica and her pupil Adriana were involved. I'll do that, just in case. Paintwork on the face is not unnecessary. My paintwork don't. Oh my god, this is looking unpetrified. Oh. Driving down here. Bring the clutch up so you have engine braking. That's it. I need to take a look at seriously.
See how, look at yourself, see how calm and collected you are here. I'm alright here, I think. How do you feel seeing it now? Knowing that in the next three minutes. No, actually, uh, I can't believe it. I was that calm doing all of this, driving like that. And this is on the way to the test, so you. You know, for like, for someone who is about to have a test, I was actually all right. Yeah. But Adriana's calmness was to be shattered as an accident occurred a moment later. Go? What have I done? You stopped. How I can do this? Adriana was in shock, but Monica had to first leave the car to deal with the situation Stop on the here. road. What the I was in shock, I think, you see. Oh. Do you recall? I don't want to do my test. I'm not sure I actually was aware of what just went on. He was the blind. Yeah. He went very slow. He was on the red line. You're a witness. And he went. You're a witness. What's wrong? I am in shock. Oh. I remember I, I had a pain straight away and I was like... Clearly in a bad state, Adriana was abandoning all thoughts of continuing with the test. It is an understandable reaction, but one we generally don't have the tools to deal with. However, experts can analyse both the circumstances and how to cope with this type of situation. You can see that I'm look, look, looking at the pedestrian and that's the impact. Now obviously she's swearing now because... Um, it's literally split seconds, split seconds. So when you see the footage of the pedestrian who is standing there now, um, you can see that he's um, approaching the crossing in such a rapid way that she doesn't doesn't have a choice. She's not. Uh, she doesn't have a choice. I say go because I see him rapidly stopping, but for her, uh, it, the, the reaction is already there. She's already going for the brakes. Now the driver behind isn't looking at anything but the road ahead. He doesn't analyze, he doesn't scan, he's too close. And because of that, he doesn't got time to react. He goes into the back of us, as simple as that. Adriana makes her own assessment of her responses and feelings at the time and their effect on yeah, her. I remember that bit. I was terrified, seriously. I, I think I start saying, it's my fault, it's my fault, or something like that. I remember saying things like that. Mm -hmm. And then I don't think I actually know what to do with myself. Do you recall what you were thinking at the time? I was terrified. You know, that time I was, the only thing What's on my mind is like, did I damage your car or something like that? Very badly, or it's just like... Were you thinking that there was something, that you have done something? Yeah, I thought it's my fault. Why? Because I, you know, especially when, I don't, I think this bit is not in a film, but I remember when you said to me, why did you stop? Do you remember that bit? No, it's, it's all in the film. And I did. That, and I think I when you I said, said that... Go. So oh yeah, go. I think after that, I think that it must be my fault because you're saying to me go when I stop. So it's definitely my fault. Don't say anything now, okay? Stop here. Secure the car. Engine off. Let's smash your car. Did I? I'm really in shock. I think I I'm crying now. I remember crying actually. Why were you crying? No. For most people, this traumatic situation would mean the end of the day's activity and any prospect of taking the test. Do you recall that part there when you were leaning over the stereo? Yeah, I remember that day. Yeah. Do you recall what was going through your mind? No, really. On the very next clip, you can see how traumatized uh, she becomes. Um, 
because simply um, I have to deal with the situation so I need to prioritize and deal with what's going on I, I need to deal with the car I know if I move the car too far then I won't have the evidence for the insurance company um, and so first thing I have to do is get out and take pictures um, once I take the pictures I have to deal with the driver because we have to move from uh, from the scene because we're causing an obstruction um, and then I'll uh, obviously speaking to the witness who is the pedestrian who tells me that he doesn't drive because he's afraid he was always afraid to drive so his actions are directly relating to his lack of knowledge of what's going on. He doesn't know what effect he's going to have on the young uh, driver approaching or any driver approaching a crossing at that speed. And she can't make that decision uh, whether to stop or go because he's too fast. Uh, I'm sure he will change his mind now. Ildiko discovered the way TFT can help from her own experience of a quite unexpected driving incident she witnessed and the serious effect it can have on someone's feelings. She realised how the traumatic reaction can be treated and the very the real benefits to be gained. She used TFT um, with somebody to get them over a driving issue. Um, it wasn't actually a client, it wasn't a book client. It was somebody who I just actually met on the street. Um, I was going somewhere with a friend and we, our destination was a car park. And when we arrived, there was this enormous Arctic lorry blocking the entrance into the car park. So I said to my friend, right, you know, hold on a moment, I'm just gonna go and check what's going on. And I went over to the um, Arctic lorry, to the cab, and there was this enormous uh, lorry driver getting out of the cab, and he was shaking from head to foot. And he was finding it hard to actually come down the stairs mm -hmm. because his legs were like jelly. I could see he was just absolutely in a, in a real state. And when he got out of the cab, I asked him if he was okay. And he said, oh my God, he says, I've just run over a boy on a bike. And he just looked sheet white. He was really in a state. And I said, is the boy okay? And he said, well, yes, the boy's okay. but..." His bicycle is just totaled, it's, it's a wreck because the, the, the lorry hit it and it just disintegrated mm -hmm. effectively, twisted metal. And it was the, the image of the twisted metal that made him think of what could have happened, mm -hmm. the fact that he could have run yep. this boy over. And he was in such a state. And I just said to him, right, I've got something that I can help you mm -hmm. with straight away to feel better. And I just got him to concentrate on what I was doing. I tapped through a specific sequence for trauma. And within less than two minutes, the shaking had stopped. And in a couple of minutes, he was back to normal and he was totally calm and fine. Now, the thing is, if we had allowed him to carry on with his journey without treating him for that trauma, he may very well have ended up creating a much bigger accident, maybe on the motorway than that. I actually call it the uh, emotion aspirin that should be available in every medicine cabinet absolutely, in every home. Absolutely, absolutely. Because it's yeah. invasive and once you know uh, how to tap, yeah. you can get rid of lots of different issues that you might have yeah. that stop you from functioning on a day-to-day. -day. Right. It's helped me tremendously, so yeah. uh, that's why um, I, I feel that without it, my life wouldn't be as mm. it is today. So how did Adriana benefit from TFT in her own traumatic situation? She had been introduced to the idea of thought field therapy earlier by Monica to address other personal fears. I, was told, I told you about that. I got a fear of water mm -hmm. and you used TFT on me and from now on I'm all right. I don't have a problem. I even want to learn to swim. After the incident, when the immediate issues at the scene had been dealt with, Monica used TFT with Adriana again. And the second time, I think, was uh, after my accident. This was the second time yeah. when we used TFT. After the initial TFT in the car with tapping, Adriana undertook herself. Monica took her back on the road with further therapy to overcome her negative feelings. I need to be in charge of the situation because there are other things that need to be done first because I need to give them my undivided attention. I can't start and then move off somewhere else and finish them off and then I need to um, finalise those things and then 
uh, 100% attention uh, on her. So then, uh, once I've shown her that, she sits tapping um, on, her on her eyebrow um, until I finish. It's, it's surprisingly that uh, it's minutes, literally minutes from, from the crash. Yeah. And this exactly shows that the TFT itself, it doesn't necessarily mean that if you were at fault in an incident, you're not going to be able to help yourself or you're not going to um, eradicate the, the trauma that you put yourself under. Even though you might cause uh, an incident, um, it, it happens that TFT will alleviate your emotional pain because simply you can't do anything about it anymore. So you have to get on uh, with uh, what's happened and deal with it in a rational kind of way. We've watched the footage now, uh, recall, uh, recalling the, the, the emotions and feelings that you went through. And before I feel horrible and I was uh, blaming myself for the accident and keep saying I don't want to go and have a test and things like that. But after the TFT I was alright, I didn't have any problem. I was confident I can go and do And how test. did you feel? Were you... Were you petrified of the crash? Or were you thinking of the crash at all? Were no, you... I didn't even think for one minute when I went to the test that just a couple of minutes ago I had an accident. Okay. It didn't take long before Adriana was ready to take the test after the help from TFT and was even enthusiastic to do so. Start saying, document. get out my document. I didn't even think that. <laughs> I didn't even think that I had an accident. It's really hell. And I'm reversing back into the bay. And, and look at me. Your, look at yourself. Marched off. Yeah, I don't like. Don't have stress anymore. <laughs> Easy, huh? Okay. So, um, as a practitioner, how do you how would you describe what's actually occurred here? What has happened? What have I done? And uh, what, what's the reaction? What's the reason for for all of that? Okay. Well, Monica, what this footage shows is a very usual reaction to thought field therapy. It happens fast, and it's almost like it erases the memory of what just actually took place. You can see that your driver has had an enormous shock which most people would sit there and you know worry about and in fact it would affect the rest of their day right they would go into work and they'd be sitting there with their head in their hands feeling guilty feeling upset about what happened and then of course the nerves about um, what the insurance company is going to uh, say to them they're going to get this phone call all of that what, mm. what unpacks after an accident mm. like that and you can clearly see that after you actually did the thought field therapy with your driver, it's almost like it's just wiped it from her memory. And within 10 minutes, I think 10, 20 minutes, she's confidently grabbing that paperwork mm. and she's marching off to the test centre to do her test. Yeah. I mean, where do you see that kind of behaviour? The traumatic uh, event is the test in itself for most people. That's right. And so many people can relate to that. Yeah, it's exactly. It's a, a panic and yeah. sometimes real trauma, of the test itself. And it, here we have a crash. That's right, exactly. So you can see the power of thought field therapy working in a real situation mm. with a real person having had that shock and then just being over it very, very rapidly. And this is very, very usual for somebody who has had thought field therapy. I mean, most of the time, if somebody comes, it would be a client in a therapeutic situation where something has happened a day before or a week before or perhaps several years before that we're actually treating. Mm. But it just shows that it doesn't have to be in a therapeutic situation. You can actually use it straight away. Here and now. You know, I mean, I mentioned about the lorry driver, but here it shows very clearly how you got her over that trauma, which for anybody else would have stopped them even going to the test centre. Mm. I mean, it was obvious that she didn't want to go before you actually did the yep. thoughtful therapy with her. 
So it totally cleared that and it enabled her to go and do that test rather yep. than wasting money, wasting time, yep. having to book it for another day. So yeah, it's a very, very powerful treatment. Adriana can really see the benefits like, too. If I was now to take you to the driving test centre, yeah. would you go for a test? Yeah. Why, why do you think the incident happened? The crash? Who truly was at fault there? Okay, now when I watch this, it was my fault. You see? So as you can see, despite the crash and the test nerves, Adriana leaves the car confidently and makes her way to the test centre. Which would be unimaginable if thought fuel therapy was not used. TFT, however, is not limited to driving. It can be used to alleviate any negative emotions. Do you think TFT could help you live a life free of trauma, fears, phobias and anxieties? If you would like more information about TFT or to experience the benefits of it yourself, you can contact firstlondondrivingacademy.com.